everybody, Plasma1945 with a really quick video. Just uh, brought it up as uh, we were getting more uh, folds of honor, and I recommend everybody hit up the website and support a great cause. But there was a couple of questions from a few folks um, about the track files. Now, what are track files? Whenever you fly in DCS on a multiplayer server, it will create something called a track file. And a track file is basically a replayable mission of everything that you've done while you were on that multiplayer server. So you can actually take that file and replay it back from the replay function within the DCS main menu. If you've seen it on the right side of the screen, it says replay. You can uh, click there and open your track file and actually play it back. And everything that you've done and everything every other plane that has, on the server has done will show up there. And keep in mind that anybody that has this file can actually play it back just like they would be able to sit in the cockpit as you were flying the plane and see all the other planes and what they were doing. There is a bit of a difference though, so keep this in mind. What you're seeing is actually my capture from inside my plane and my movement of my head in my VR helmet. And that's how the track file will be. You can use F1, F2 and all the other spectate keys if that was permitted on the server to actually get views of your plane inside and outside. And also you can look at friendly or enemy planes if that was enabled in the server that you were playing on. So this is actually pretty neat. But remember, the only way that uh, you can look inside the cockpit of another plane is if you get that person's track file. The track file will also contain the map details if the map was available for viewing during the game as well. So how do you get to your track files? Well, bring up your Windows key by hitting the Windows key and type in Explorer and click on File Explorer. Once File Explorer comes up, you can go to your saved games folder. The saved games folder is located on your C drive under users, your username, and saved games. And then inside of saved games, you're gonna see open beta. It's basically C users, whatever your username is, you know, Bob, admin, whatever save games and there's gonna be a folder called open beta and for those of you unstable it'll be just called DCS now when you double click on that you're gonna have a whole bunch of files here this is where your configurations and all of your settings are stored so it's good to back up these once in a while but once you are here there's a folder called tracks so again the path is C users your username save games DCS or DCS open beta and then tracks I've got a bunch of tracks here from my single player missions. And then once you double click on multiplayer, you're going to see a whole bunch of files. I have 193 files here. And these are usually sorted by the of the server you were on. So as you can see, I'm a lot on my personal server and I'm a lot on the Growling Sidewinder server. You can sort them by date and time. One thing I recommend is that uh, you check in on these files because, let's take a peek here, I'm gonna select them on Go Properties. There's 20 gigabytes of track files. The more activity there is, the more airplanes flying around, the longer you are on a multiplayer server, the bigger each file can be. So keep that in mind, this is a great way to save some space on your drive. So I've got 20 gigs of files here, which is quite a bit. Now to share this file, you can grab that file and upload it to somebody. So for example, for Folds of Honor, you will be given a location where you can upload these files. So there you go. That's the track file, what it does. And uh, there's a lot of them here. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna spend some time clearing these out because 20 gigs of files going all the way back to September is quite a bit. And they will add up in size real quick. Again, depends on how long you've been flying on each server and how many people there are, the files will be bigger. So hopefully this helps you figure out track files. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in comments and uh, you don't need to have them. You can purge them every time you start up the game and fly, but I keep them around in case I wanna play it back. If there was some awesome action, I can actually play back the track file and record my view. It's a fairly interesting topic, so make sure you ask questions and comments if you have any and support Folds of Honor and DCS World Events.